Once again, welcome and thank you for watching Cavalier Basketball on Culver TV and RTC TV4. I'm Justin Croy, joined alongside Josh Pugh a little bit later tonight, and on camera we have Tyler Siddall. Today's game is being brought to you by the staff and students of Culver Community High School's radio and TV course in generous partnership with the fine folks at RTC TV4, as well as by all of our advertising partners. Remember, you can watch Cavalier basketball games here on Culver TV as well as on the IHSAA Champions Network. So it is basketball season in Indiana. And as they say, in 49 states, it's just basketball. But this is Indiana. And the opening game, not only the home opener, but the season opener for the Lady Cavs as well as the Satellites, will commence tonight here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Cavalier Basketball on Culver TV. This broadcast is copyrighted by Culver Community High School. Any use of this broadcast without the consent of Culver Community High School is prohibited. Once again, welcome. we welcome you back here. A new John R. Nelson Gymnasium, new floor, new bleachers, uh, new everything. And the uh, first basketball game on the new floor will take place tonight. First, uh, the first game was volleyball. Cavaliers got a victory, so look to repeat that action again tonight as the Lady Satellites come to town. Have about 16 minutes here. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with the starting lineups and more. You just uh, you just noticed, Mr. Mr. Pugh just sat down and noticed uh, the uh, the newest addition to John R. Nelson Gymnasium is this nice railing. However, up here at the uh, broadcasting area, that is right in our line of view, so we're having to stand up. You can see the starting lineup there on your screen for South Central: number 20, Samantha Marks; number 21, McKenna Welsh. Number 22, Gwen Mendenhall. Number 23, Lexi Johnson. And the senior, number 30, Kaylee Marks. Similar roster to the Cavaliers tonight. Cavaliers will be starting one senior, and Alexa O'Brien. A junior, number 31, Cassidy Banks. Five foot seven sophomore, number 32, Brianna Schlemmer. A 5'11 junior, number 51, Amaya Williams. And the five foot six freshman, Brooke Davis, getting the start for the Cavaliers. A true freshman getting the start in her first game. South Central brings a. Uh, unique coaching experience here because their superintendent of schools is their head coach, Dr. Ben Anderson. Uh, been there, I think, three years now as girls coach. Uh, done a great job. Uh, 
Don't see a lot of superintendents coaching varsity no. basketball right now. But, uh, he is managing the time and doing very well. Well, Mr. Pugh, we're going to try something new this year. We do have uh, a little bit of new technology here, so the entire scoreboard, everything should run itself. You don't have to worry about me messing or forgetting the score anymore. I like it. Should automatically start on by itself. Maya Williams. Tipping for the Cavaliers, I believe Samantha Marks. Sadie Marks, Sadie excuse me. Marks, yep. And basketball is underway in Indiana. First tip will go out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be South Central ball. Nope, they're going to say Lady Cavs. Yep. We're going to see the uh, true freshman at point guard right yeah. here to uh, start tonight, looks like. And, uh, and one of the new rules going into effect right away, first thing. Yeah. So it's, uh, South Central started in 2-3 zone. They're going to trap right out of it. They're going to jump, jump ball, ball right the away. That was Lexi Johnson and McKenna Welsh. I was going to say, I think the jump ball is going to go to South Central here. Interesting uniforms. Yeah, South Central in black. Quite Usually they wear uh, blue on the road, but in black and white. Quite know what's on the shoulders and uh, yeah. shorts. Good ball movement yeah. by the Lady Satellite. She'll lose it out of bounds, though. You can see a little pressure here from South Central. It's like a little 2-2-1, two -two probably trap in the corners. Don't dribble into that corner. She gets through it. Brooke Davis split the double team. Good pass to Schlimler. Oh. Ball goes up, and Banks will be fouled. She'll head to the line. Neither team working with a real deep bench tonight. Foul trouble be, could be a big impact. The Cavaliers uh, are sharing some quarters tonight with several girls play in the JV game. Uh, South Central has two available subs on the bench. She'll miss both of those. Marks will bring the ball up. Lose control of it. That is Davis on Good the floor. On Brooke Davis there causing a jump ball. Both teams working out a little nerves <laughs> tonight. First, uh, first true game of the year. I'm sure they both got a scrimmage in last week. I know the Cavaliers scrimmaged Andre in last weekend. Good look there. Look backside. Tipped. And Marks with the ball. Yep. Have showing zone as Johnson well. Johnson for three. Two, three. Yep. And she'll get it. Look at that. Said three-pointer popped up on the screen. Didn't even have to do anything. I love it. Technology's great when it works. Oh, ooh. little walk there. Yeah. Probably got fouled, though. Uh, yep, that's going to be the call. Fouled. Fouled again, I guess. <laughs> yeah. On, on Brooke Davis, her first. That, I don't think that's a legal play there. I don't think she can go out of bounds while her teammate has the ball and then come back in and get possession of it. Shouldn't be the first person to touch it, but. It'll be South Central baseline out of bounds here. Cavs fill in the lane. Lots of ball movement by the satellites. Yeah, this is a Hit it inside, deflected by Amaya Williams. 
South Central specialty here. They see a lot of zone throughout the year. They're not, uh, they'll be very patient. South Central was a one loss team last year. Uh, did graduate three seniors, but they have a lot of girls. Blocked by Amaya Williams. And she's gonna get fouled. That's gonna be on Gwen Mendenhall, I believe. Yeah, South Central definitely has uh, lost a lot of talent. This, I guess, lost this year or lost at the end of last year. Yes. Uh, three or four seniors from that team, major contributors. Well, the experience their younger players got on going on a run like that goes a long way. It's going to be on Banks, I believe. That's her second. Second, second foul. Only about two minutes here into the into the first Robert quarter. The oh, nope, that's only our first. Good attendance here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. Yeah, great opening Season day. opener. That one falls. South Central going to show the press look again. Get a tip and a steal. You just hear the ball when March dribbles. Yeah. How hard the ball's coming off the yeah, floor. Uh, she moves with a purpose, you can tell. They get it down to her in the post, defended by Schlemmer. She'll lose control. That ball will be taken away by Cassidy Banks, and then she'll pick up a foul or draw a foul. That's going to be on Samantha Marks, and that will be her second. In the corner to Schlemmer. Down low to a Williams. Good drop down. Oh, wow. That appeared like it may have gone off of South Central. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> a 4 nothing game in yep. the first quarter. I don't think anybody's going to get too riled. No. Nope. That happens in a tie ball game with 30 seconds left yeah. in the fourth. That is a good call on the step on the sideline. Going to hear the wrath of the, uh, <laughs> of the faithful. <laughs> Cavs looking to get a little flow on offense here. South Central's been, uh, they'll come out and trap this first pass if we make it to the wing. Ooh. Davis with the ball Wait. kick. Cavs and making them rotate. Good shot there. Yep. Good, good look good for look. the Cavs. Didn't yeah. go down, but it was a good look. That's the shot they're looking for. You look over in the stands. There's some South Central people sitting, and that it's in that middle section. It's just a culmination, an integrated section. It, of it is. Uh, we had a little discussion pregame tonight. I think we need to uh, put up some signage to declare home and visitors, especially for uh, girls' games where we only utilize one side of the gym. Yeah. So I think we'll. Now the upper deck has always been uh, fair game either yeah. side. Yeah, I agree. But the lower deck is usually the. Yeah. The good news is it's not Big Ten basketball, and fans can sit to the, sit with yeah, each other. That's right. Yeah, I, I would. I would expect it to be pretty peaceful tonight. South Central makes first of all two free throws. That last foul was on Brianna Schlemmer. And Lexi Johnson will pick up. Both of those. A little 1-3-1 uh, one, one from the satellites here. Cavs got it across. Back to Davis at the top of the key. Good ball movement. Good shot. Good shot. Limler from the corner. No good. Oh. They're going to gonna get Banks flying in on that one. I don't like that call from the official yeah. on the baseline. The guy that was right next to the play was yeah. that. Foul number 31 of the Cavaliers. Pretty good chance. It's the first uh, 
first basketball game for the officiating crew oh, tonight. Yeah. Everybody's kind of, uh, you know, breaking in the new shoes, getting used to the new season. <laughs> we do apologize for the delay in start time. The, uh, to put it professionally, there was a lot of stoppages <laughs> in the JV game. J JV game. Due to whistles being blown took frequently. Took share tonight. Not that they were bad whistles. <laughs> there were just was just a lot of them. Yeah. South Central on the break. Good pass ahead. Ooh, layup no good. Welsh misses good that one. Hustle by South Central on the save. See if they can capitalize. Catch the Cavs out of yep, place. That's going to be yep. her second. And this is going to be... The fifth foul, okay. It's going to be Davis's second. Nope, nope. Should be on the sixth one. Should should be on the sixth. Maybe they have the team fouls wrong. Potentially. Six foul. First free throw is good. No one moved on that. Did they call that a shooting foul? There's no way that was in the act of shooting. No, because he sent them, he sent them the out of bounds, yeah. and then the official called them back to the line. Interesting. Well, both free throws good. Extends the lead to 8-0 for South Central. South Central going to show 2-2-1 two, two, here. Ah, it's a sloppy pass to the can't middle. Can't do that in the 2-2-1. Two, two, South Central got in a hurry running the break there. Kicked it, uh, threw it out of bounds. Cavs going to get it back. South Central going to go right back to the 2-2-1. Uh, two, two, I'm going to text Trevor here. <laughs> Here's the uh, turnover. South Central coming back this way. Good rebound by Brianna Schlimler there. Outlet to Brooke Davis looking to get ahead of the zone. Top of the key to Banks. Got a deflection. O'Brien, no good from the wing, but another good look. Those are shots she's going to have to take. That's Brooke Davis on the steal and coming down. She's going to get a foul. That's going to be on Welsh. Foul number 21 on the satellite. McKenna Welsh, her first team four. So maybe Trevor's ahead of the game here. No, because he would have had to be, it would still be six. Now I conveniently have it pulled up in the in my web browser <laughs> here. Go. So Just good ball rotation by the Cavs. Banks down the lane, knocked away by Marks. Ooh. Here comes Satellite, long pass up front. Oh, good defensive play by Brooke Davis there, blocking the layup. The ball loose under the ball basket here. Are we going to get a jump ball? We're going to get a foul call here. Going to be a jump ball called there. So here we go. Four rule four eight one eliminates one and one for common fouls, and then it does go on to say beginning with the fifth foul in each quarter. Fifth in the quarter. Be right, beginning with five. Gotcha. Okay. So, correct, it is five in each quarter. Team fouls will reset each quarter then. Oh. oh. I thought we might get a travel call there, but we're going to get a block and no shot instead. The safety marks on the uh, okay, so aggressive run there. If you only have four fouls to give, that takes it from eight instead of ten. And before you had seven that you could give. Correct. So now you can give eight. Mm -hmm. Coach Nice talking to the official there. I think he said that that uh, Banks just got there too late to get truly, truly set. She wasn't moving. She just got there. She just got there half a second late. Good look ahead by the Cavs. And then a... 
Sloppy exchange. Ball out of bounds. It's going to be South Central. We're going to get the first time out of the night. Welcome back here. Justin Croy, Josh Pugh, Tyler Siddell. Got uh, both teams coming out of the huddle. Coach Neese nice, uh, definitely talking offense there. I'm sure Coach Anderson is uh, uh, talking a little strategy on his press coming out right here. Or it's actually going to be South Central ball on the turnover. So it'll be interesting to see if South Central is going to run a set play here. Um, Cavs are going to extend the zone coming Second out of the timeout. Double. So uh, cross. Yeah, didn't look to trap there, but they definitely extended the zone to give a little different look. Good uh, good strategy by Coach Nice. Now it's going to be South Central's ball out of bounds, and that, that's interesting there because that ball got kicked way out on the wing, and now it's on the, the basket. So, so we were talking about that yeah. beforehand and actually having the conversation. That's uh, Lexi Johnson. Yeah. Having a conversation with Coach Coach Barrett today after school, just happened to be a lot of people in the gym. We were discussing whether or not we had to uh, there had to be marks put on the floor for those for those new spots. Um, anyway, long story short, as as he said, the the line basically goes from the elbow to where the free throw line, or excuse me, where the three point line meets the baseline at a diagonal motion. So no more above or below the free throw line. That's a great yeah, shot there. Uh, Caitlin Duttlinger, 5'6 sophomore. Um, and so the before we had the anything above the free throw line went to the sideline, anything below went to the yeah. baseline. And so that has all changed in a weird way. Mm, we're going to get the South Central has reached the five. Uh, Five foul limit. We're going to get um, who almost called her by her sister's name. <laughs> We're going to get Hamilton at the line. I would say I don't. I just call him Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. All of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we got Maddie Hamilton at the line. There we go. Maddie Hamilton makes a second one. Gets the Cavs on the board. Breaks the ice. Cavs getting after it in the zone. It's steal by Banks. We're going to get another foul on South Central. Working hard there. Yep. See, now we're to the point where is this going to make the game longer? Well, we've definitely extended the first quarter a little bit here. Shoot free throws. Because now we're walking back to the opposite end of the floor. First one's no good. It'll be Mendenhall coming in for Welsh. That's Welsh's third. This is a we change for everyone, right? So this is this was not a two-shot foul last year. Because this was you know, not a shooting foul. The no, that would have been that would have been if it would have been the seventh foul, it would have been one and one. Yeah. But yeah, that would not have been a We got a foul on the Cavs on this end. It's going to be on Schlimler. It's going to be her second. So I know that. Mark, a, yeah, go ahead. In addition to the to the one of the new rules is the running clock rule. If you're uh, second half ahead by 35 points, or the, it automatically goes to a running clock. And just as uh, they put that rule in football in um, not too long ago, a couple years, two years maybe. Um, and the whole thing was games are so long and the scores are so out of whack that every time a pass is incomplete or something, you know, it gets Correct. those things get. Uh, the, the clock stops. And this, which I thought the, the rule was expected to do, good steal there by Alex O'Brien, with, uh, with the additional rules, it seems to be making things. Yeah, it's kind of a dragging right now. There's Schlindler with a good look. No good. Going to be South Central's ball off the tip on the baseline. 
Amaya Williams got a hand on it, didn't reel it in. 41 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Marks on the drive to the baseline. Kick to the opposite baseline. Shot no good. Schlimler comes down with it. She's going to bring it up the floor for the Cavs. She's got some point guard experience in yeah. the past. She's had the ball in her hand before. Ooh, thought O'Brien would shoot that one. One-handed pass. Yeah. From Schlemmer. And then another one-handed one pass from Hamilton. To yeah, one-handed toss there. There's Hamilton looking to the Good fight game. there. Yeah. Way to turn around and throw the ball out. Yeah, Amaya Williams got a hold of it. It's kind of the turn and throw, but drew a foul. We'll take it at this point. She'll so, so they used to do the, and I know they stopped doing this last year, once it got to 10 fouls, like once your team fouls got to 10 fouls, they didn't want you to announce or say how many fouls were on like the, the team, team. Sure. and they didn't want them to put it on the board. Gotcha. Apparently that is the same thing because now we don't the go fouls have five. stopped yeah. at five, yeah. which I'm fine with if this rule was in longer, but now that I don't know, right. I'm trying to figure out in my head how many. Yeah. Oh. That's good by Lexi Johnson. I think that's the third one Lexi Johnson hit in the first quarter. She's been pretty selective, um, but shot the ball very well. First quarter is going to end with the South Central up 19 to 3. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Indiana Army You're National Guard. Indiana Army National Guard always ready, always there. If you have any interest in the Indiana Army National Guard, reach out to your local recruiter, Staff Sergeant Patrick Dobson. He might just be Sergeant now. I'm not sure. He sees the. I think he's like the Jeffersons, moving he's, on up. He is very uh, frequent in our building. We see him here at school a lot. It'll be South Central ball to start. Good ball movement by the satellites. They are uh, keeping the top of that zone, moving back and forth. I wonder what it's like to be a superintendent head coach. I, you know, I would think he would get the best practice time, probably whenever he wanted yeah. the gym. And, but, uh, and like if the – anytime he didn't like something, it would just be, I don't like that, let me change it. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> like, uh, I would think – Who's going to uh, challenge me on this? Either. Also probably if he sees his team's getting a little worn out this winter, needs a two-hour delay, they might get to hey. sleep in one day. You know, I, you got to take advantage of where you can get it. So. <laughs> I've, I've been uh, fortunate enough to work with Ben through a few projects and things we've done together. He's a great guy, uh, great basketball mind. Uh, was actually at oh, one look point inside. a few years back was the varsity volleyball coach as well. Oh. So he is, uh, his coaching roots are deep. Was uh, Banks there on the pull-up jumper, got fouled. She's going to get two more free throws. Cavalier offense is... Uh, you know, leaning heavily on the free throw line right now, but it's getting them on the board. Knock down a few free throws, like, get themselves back to the game. He's uh, he's on the official's case, too, as a oh, super. Yeah, so he's yeah, not, he, he doesn't uh, shy away. He's not playing the, uh, <laughs> I don't know what, he, what you would want to call it. i got to act a certain way because I'm going to finish yeah, it. Oh, yeah. He's not afraid to no. give him give him a piece of his mind. And he was right. That last one, that was a foul on Kenzie Banks earlier that they didn't call him. And yep. just a bump on the arm down here that we got a shooting foul on. Brooke Davis got a piece of that one. There's Banks with the uh, deflection. Ooh, good defense there by good, uh, Marks. One more. Needed one more pass there to get Hamilton a look. Huh? Nope. Here come the Cavs on the attack. Schlimler to the corner. Swing it to and Davis. Go. Yep. Oh, had uh, Banks across the lane. Pass was just a little behind her. Comes Marks on the push. Good find there. Elbow jumper, no good. Schlimler with the rebound by Schlemmer. Move the ball. Good pass. Tech. 
Ooh, Looks good. Good look, yep. It is not. Knocked out of bounds by Banks. Yep. So I think we're going to require J.B. Overmeyer to donate chairs next time. Yeah, I think we're going to have to find some, uh, he stole, some, some taller chairs for the uh, He up, stole the one deck. stool yeah. we had up here. Yeah. Slimmer picks up the foul there. It's going to be South Central baseline out of bounds. Cassie Banks going to get a break. Um, Alexa O'Brien coming in. be a turnover on the satellite. It's going to be Cavalier ball. Cavaliers will uh, welcome Grace Sieber back to the team next week. Grace is at the uh, FFA Nationals tonight uh, representing the school. So it'll be another uh, body for us to be out there. Ah, you got to be smarter than yeah, that. Brooke Davis on the you know fast break defense there. It's just too valuable in this uh, in this game, especially to get to pick those up like that. I yep. think that's exactly what Coach Nice is telling her. Yep, it's going to be her third. Uh, hey, we need you on the floor. Yeah, she's going to have to play big <laughs> yeah. minutes tonight. That's uh, and probably for the next four years. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But that's a that's a freshman thing oh, yeah. right there. And that's a teaching moment for Coach Nice. He had her right at the bench, zipped right away to uh, have that conversation. Up until this point, uh, Brooks High School experience is one quarter of junior varsity basketball. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's a, that's a big she stage has, to ask someone to uh, to dive into. At the end of the night, she'll have more varsity experience than, than JV experience yes, in her uh, book. Yeah, so. we have, uh, there have been a few uh, starting freshman varsity point guards th through our years, but um, it's been a while. Yeah. Definitely point guards. Yes. yes. The game yeah, so. Maddie, maybe. Maddie was probably the last one. Probably the last one. Yep, I would say so. It's, uh, got, um, probably uh, Darcy and Stacy Stevens through the years, and Tammy Shedro back a little bit farther. Speaking of Stacy Stevens, one of our new remodeling projects requires some uh, artwork to be done by yours truly. Nice. If there's anybody out there that has an action shot of Stacy Stevens, good shot by Alex yep. O'Brien. Alex O'Brien, our first field goal. A uh, higher quality action shot of Stacy Stevens. Feel free to send that to my email, jcroy at culver.k12.in.us. I know Coach Elliott's been looking through uh, his, his stuff and I think... Uh, Heather Overmeyer's been looking as well, and just throw that out there. Yeah, one of those. I, I would think there's one floating around somewhere that's not a uh, black and white newspaper image. Actually, a black and white newspaper image at this point would be good. We just don't have the access to uh, the uh, our digital access to the local newspapers. Gotcha. And the yearbook photo is like the size of a postage stamp. So oh, gotcha. Yep. It was too blurry to put on a uh, six foot by four foot mm -hmm. mural. Hit this. Amy O'Brien with another look from the wing. Good shot. Ooh. Got Amaya away with Williams one there. Probably got away with an over the back there. Nobody jumped. So it's a good box out by uh, yep. Marks. <laughs> Ben Anderson's still working the <laughs> yeah. officials. I think Coach, a little Coach Anderson's yep. not happy with that nope. call. Oh, or the lack he thereof. <laughs> yeah. He's really not happy with the nope. pass into the second row it, there. They're going to take yeah, a uh, timeout. Have a mental break. Timeout. <laughs> We're going to take a break as well. We'll be right back here watching. 3.38 to go in the first half. It's 19-6 uh, to 6 South Central. Cavaliers have found a little offense in the past couple of possessions, so South Central's taking a uh, timeout. Now, I would like to know, as a stakeholder in this uh, school corporation, 
Why was there not a moment of silence for Robert Montgomery well, Knight I across the I'm state? Sure there, was some, sure there was some thought of that. I, I don't Commissioner Nightig should have said, we're going yep. moment of silence, first yep. boys and girls game. Mm -hmm. Impact. I'm kind of hoping for a, uh, you know, first week of Thanksgiving, Indiana Bobby Knight tribute kind of stuff. Maybe something on the uniforms. They, uh, they did see where Indiana University is going with a patch nice. on the nice. uniforms yep. for Which apparently the five stars on the back of the uniform are not enough to. Yeah, well. Three of the five. Anyway. It's all right. Lady Cavs coming out with some fire here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Great look to Amaya Williams. Good bucket on their knee there. Good pass there by Schlemmer. Yeah, good ball movement there. Two quick field goals for the Cavaliers. Got us uh, back in the game. Yeah, yeah, good move yeah. by Marks. It's the right call. Yep. Kind of surprised they haven't tried to get it to her in the post a little more often. Um, they haven't needed to up until this point. Wouldn't surprise me if they start pounding it down there. It's going to be on O'Brien. Should be and one here. Yep. It's going to be Marks at the line, shooting one. Cavs get a sub. Cat City Banks is going to come back in. Schlimmer is going to get a break. Left-handed Marks makes the free throw. Extends the lead to 14. South Central showing their 2-2-1. Uh, Good ball movement by the Cavs. Get it across. Back to Davis at the top of the key. Hamilton on the move. Oh. Swing it again. Yeah. Skip one, it. One more. Skip it. Hit it. Skip Good it. Look. Ah. Ah. She was right there. Cavs yeah. have the right idea of finding that uh, player running the baseline. We've just yet to make that pass. Oh. Look at, look at Coach Anderson. Must have been a tip. He is Coach not, Anderson's injured, wondering what is going on. I cannot believe what's happening here. Yep. We, uh, it appeared that ball was thrown to the padding by and, I, yeah, not I, near anyone. I don't but, think there was any doubt about it yeah. that it was thrown out of bounds yeah. by uh, Brooke Davis. There was, there was nobody in the area. No, <laughs> that wasn't close. It was, Here's Alexa O'Brien to Cassie Banks on the block. Oh, that might have been the makeup call right there. Mark's got a piece of that going out of bounds. South Central ball. The equalizer. Here comes South Central on the on offense. A good attack. I think Samantha Marks can drive the basket for the next uh, 16 minutes or 20 minutes of this yep, ball game. Just, However, we might see her become a little more aggressive here. Just a kick out. Good look. Might been the first one she's missed tonight. Cavs get the rebound. Banks on the push, left hand side. Maya Williams short jumper, just a little short. You gotta be smart there. Good you hustle got, by Banks. Is that her fourth? I don't. Mm, hopefully it's her third. Looked like she needed to go with two hands there and get a hold of that. That is her fourth. Jump ball. Banks got her fourth before halftime. Creates an interesting dynamic. Looks like uh, Eliana might be getting the call up here soon. Yeah. Popular opinion, unpopular opinion, Mr. Pugh. That? We've seen in recent years teams go away from the team shoe and now allowing players across the board to yeah, wear whatever they want. Yeah, I, I, I am a team shoe guy. I like the me, me too. uniformity. 
of it. Um, I guess I do understand that every shoe is a little different and try and find one that's most comfortable or, or uh, best fits you. But I, I do like the team shoe look. It's all Michael George's fault. Oh, yeah. I, uh, good rebound there by Brianna Schlemmer. Ah. I'll date myself a little bit, but I can remember the days when the uh, Cavaliers boys and girls were all Reebok pumps. And you were a, what year would that what, would have been in the uh, mid nineties. So you would have been a s senior junior. Uh, I was, I graduated in 97. So I think we started with the pumps in 95. So a junior, sophomore, junior. Yeah. Cavs with 30 seconds left, looking to cut into the lead. Schlimler with it. Davis to Hamilton, skip to O'Brien. Good ball movement. Little jumper by Schlimler short. Got to be smart here. Yep. South Central will be interesting. See if they hold for one. They're going to take the best available. Elbow jumper, no good. O'Brien's got it. Cavs might get one more look. O'Brien on the run to Schlimler. Ball needs to go up. Block, shot, Five. block. Welch. So at halftime, your score is Culver 8, South Central 22. We'll be right back. It was the first thing Coach McGow was here. He, he walked over to talk on the radio and said, I can already tell you, I, I don't like the new rule. It'll be interesting to see how, uh, how it plays out. It's going to be Cavs ball to start to half. Hamilton to Davis. Back to Hamilton. Skip pass to O'Brien. Well, Mr. Pugh, I tried to do it sitting down. I don't know who decided. I found a high chair. It worked pretty nice. Who decided to make this? Uh... <laughs> Our railing is very tall, but it is very secure as well. So we'll, we like the safety aspect. Unless you Hulk Hogan the ropes. And then... <laughs> yeah, the uh, still working on the ropes, but they're getting it. It's going to be tied up in the lane. It's going to be South Central ball. We'll see what if either coach made any adjustments to uh, start. Looks like the Cavs are going to extend the zone. Good steal there by Hamilton. Got to get that thing and go. Yep, yeah, Davis uh, wasn't really expecting that pass, but it came to her. Schlindler looking to go baseline. Are they trying to trap that they are. corner? That's okay. Go let, let him do that and then slip. Yeah. So don't. Schlindler with the pull up. No good. Ooh, nobody wants it. Ball yeah, loose, that's... and we're going to get a foul on the Cavs. It's her first. Cavalier. Number 51 of Maya Williams, her first, she's her first of the third quarter. Marks, Samantha Marks, bringing the ball up. Oh, that just looked, that looked weird. I didn't, yeah. I don't know if there's anything wrong there. It just didn't look. High post to Marks, the kick to her little sister, Samantha Marks, knocks down the 18 footer. Do have to say I'm loving the new software. I haven't had to touch the computer one time, it's perfect. and it's uh, it's all correct. So it's a good start to the new season. Cavalier viewers get uh, get to be saved from my mistakes. So Alexa Looks Bryan, good. Pull it up is. three is good. Finding a little offense. South Central beat the Cavs down the floor there. Got an easy one. I think we could convince Mrs. Schumann to lower this railing by maybe, maybe uh, eight inches. That, or we're going to need to build a media stand, or, or something. I'd be I'd be more in favor of the media stand. Yeah. Bring down one of those crow's nests and let us go right in that yeah, second. That's right. 
Here's the elder marks with it. Looking oh. to push. Finds her sister. Oh, a little errant pass there. Hamilton. Hamilton a uh, little reluctant to take off and run the break there. Second steal of the second half. Yeah. Cavs are going to uh, set up an offense here. Brooke Davis top of the key. Looking to uh, <coughs> get a ball screen against the zone. Here's Hamilton with it. Skip past O'Brien. Quick jumper. Good look for the Cavs. Amaya Williams with a great offensive rebound. Step through and finish. Amaya Williams. Cuts the lead in half. It's going to be 13 to 26. It's a kicked ball. Ball free. South Central on the attack. It's going to be Lexi Johnson on the uh, take and layup. Hmm. Coach Anderson called a quick timeout on the make there. I assume he's looking to establish the press again. I've noticed that Coach Anderson's assistant coach is doing all the defensive stuff in their yeah, huddle. Yeah, he is a defensive coordinator. Yeah, he is a defensive coordinator. That's a unique perspective when it comes to basketball. But if it's uh, with the success they've had the last couple of years, that's working well for them. So. See if they come out with a different look here. To be their uh, their two two one. We need a uh, restaurant sponsor for Culver TV. Yes, a little halftime carry in maybe. Well. Here's Alexa O'Brien with it. This is going to be more of a uh, zone trap coming from uh, the satellites. Good um, look, not good bad. Good job by the Lady Cavs, Cavs there. The ball in the middle. Hit Lizzo that. O'Brien with a three from the wing. We'll get it. Schlimler recovers the rebound. Attacks the baseline. Taken away. Yeah, South Central on the run out. First one no good, but had a follow up there. We started the broadcast about 15 minutes early. Plus a 10-minute halftime, and we are at an hour and 17 minutes. So at this pace, we're about on track for a normal game. Yeah. Coach Nice will take a timeout yep. there. South Central got behind the defense there, got a quick bucket. I think this will be... Uh, Biggest change for the Cavs this year is we will look to press and trap and do a little more. And then um, we have done defensively in the past. It's going to be an, <coughs> excuse me, an adjustment for all of our kids, um, especially when you start getting deep into, into the second half and, and uh, you get tired. You know, it's, it's some of those mental lapses and uh, being tired where you give up a few layups. We got one of our officials hamming it up with the cheerleaders. South Central did a great job bringing, well, it appears, like 17 or 18 cheerleaders to the game tonight. And thanks for that. I'm going to get in some trouble when I get home. <laughs> Purposely didn't mention anything about the cheerleaders <laughs> from South Central. I'll take here. that one. Coach Croy, Coach Hanna, you're doing a great job. No worries that uh, we're still putting the winter program together. Look inside. Hamilton was wide open there. A yep, little late getting it to her. Here's O'Brien, quick shot from the corner, no good. Marks with the rebound. So just to stay out of the doghouse here, we have 13 cheerleaders. They have 14 cheerleaders. Oh, I apologize. I didn't so. count. I estimated. Cavaliers have been very well represented by the cheerleading team this fall so far. I'm sure we will continue. Uh, it's such a quick transition from football to girls basketball, literally less than a week. Yeah. Um, 
since we have transitioned. So, and in years in years past, where well, I guess this is the first year in what, four years that we haven't been in the sectional championship. Correct. Yep. In football, that we uh, there are times where this game is played on the Thursday before the sectional championship. Yes, we did that last year, and so it it becomes. Winter, winter season on Thursday night and fall Friday. Yep. Looking, looking over the schedule for the next couple of years, trying to encourage uh, Coach Zayner to bring up the idea of a conference tournament as the new conference huh? set to begin in the 2024-2025 uh, school year. Yep. Many conferences around us take that approach. Adding, uh, adding Argus and OD and basketball, well, all other sports except football. Mm -hmm. Then adding South Central and uh, North Miami football. It just so happened that uh, OD and Argus do not have football teams. I think that was done with a purpose. So good job to those administrators that put that together. So worked I like out. it. Worked out well. I say I have a regular season champion and a tournament champion. Conference champion, yeah. Happens right before girls sectional and yep. that would put our uh, put our girls into three weeks of tournaments though. You'd go by county conference championship tournament and then sectional. Yeah, you'd have to, to work on your timing there. But it would be fun and uh, you know, kind of electric to have a, a conference tournament um, played over a three or four day window. I believe uh, South Central, they're in the Porter County for basketball, correct? Yes. They, they have the PCC championship every yep. year. It's a very well-attended event. Now, what I don't know is I would imagine they're in the PCC for football as well, but I know they have men's volleyball. Well, they, yeah, so the PCC doesn't have um, – several of those schools do not play football. They do play men's volleyball there. Hobart's in that conference, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. right? sure. Here's Banks with it, coming up the sideline. Giselle Villegas. Giselle's first action in the varsity game. She's uh, coming off a great soccer season, kind of making her return to basketball. I learned today that uh, she's not uh, played an organized basketball game since the eighth grade. Here's Banks to Villegas. Uh, Looking to shoot, didn't get one up. Back to Banks. 48 seconds in third quarter. So this quarter, obviously, without the fouls, has gone quick. Yeah, when, not we're, that when we're not shooting two. Just a normal um, just a normal quarter. Yep, yep. travel. Yep. A good quick call there. by Davis. Yep, and then this, I don't know the official's name on our sideline, but he's like, he said, nope, the ball has to go. Now to where they used to be able to give that on the baseline yes. go, which probably still isn't the right call. But right. since I think the turnover happened below, back to that old rule, below the free throw line, it went to the baseline. Well, now because of where it was at on the court, it has to go to that coach's box line. Yeah, that's a, it's a unique, it's a unique ruling. I would love to hear the or to read the uh, justification of that, but I'm sure there is one somewhere. Here comes the Cavs, 15 seconds to go on the push. Ball to Villegas, to Hamilton on the trail. Kick to Banks. Are you ready for the rationale according to NFHS? Yeah. Simplifies throw-in procedure when a team gains or retains possession for situations other than an out-of-bounds throw-in. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Sounds like they just wanted to uh, change the rule. Uh, and it will be uh, it'll be a big adjustment. Many of our officials have been doing this a long oh. time, and they, it's, it's very routine for them to grab it, point, and go. And uh, they're going to have to think on the fly a little bit more this year. Today's game is being brought to you by the Culver Community Athletic Boosters for all upcoming events and monthly drawings. Follow the boosters on Facebook at Culver Community Athletic Boosters. If you would like to support Culver Community by being an advertising partner, you can go ahead and contact me. Uh, J. Croy at culver.k12.in.us for more information on how your company could advertise on Culver TV. So we will be joining you um, throughout the season for most varsity home games. 
Um, as of right now, as the uh, students are getting their schedules together and uh, getting back to me, uh, looks like we're going to do nearly all boys and girls home events um, throughout the winter with, uh, with the exception of uh, swimming, which does not take place here. Um, and then we won't be broadcasting those JV events. So uh, keep in mind, if like tonight, if the JV game does run long, we will uh, we'll begin the broadcast at uh, once the JV game has ended. So sometimes that might be 740 instead of 7.30 on, on the dot. And sometimes if the JV game goes quick and the uh, teams warm up, it may be, may be a tad early. So long story short, come watch a game at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. That's right. Come check out all the, uh, all the changes at the John R. Nelson. Here's Banks with a steal. Great anticipation on the pass. Goes the distance, draws a foul. <laughs> Foul's going to be on Samantha Marks. Banks is going to go to the line for two. No, it look, looks weird from up here. Is that the steps? We don't. We didn't paint the top of the steps because obviously that's painting the tops of the steps is pointless pretty much. But they just like with the steps and the deck being gray, and then the wood yeah. in the bleachers, it looks. Yeah. Uh, it's a little yellow from from our side. Yeah. Yeah. It matches the floor, kind of. It for does. The most part, it does. It'll Just be interesting the, to see how it uh, how it ages. The steps and the deck, which you probably can't see from the floor. No. If you were looking, but yeah. from up here, where you can kind of see across. I was actually. Cavs come away with it. For a moment, back to South Central. I just, I just noticed, Mr. Pugh, that the center of the upper deck and the, or the rows in the upper deck and the rows in the lower deck do not meet up perfectly. Right, they do not. They are offset, and now I'm going to see that every game for the next <laughs> end of time. I believe the uh, the bottom bleachers are are a touch longer on each end. A little more seating at the bottom. In Probably. length, the upper deck is definitely taller. Yeah. Here's a breakaway for the younger marks. Good finish with the left hand. Samantha Moore. Both teams have been very committed to their 2-3 zones tonight. I don't think we have seen either team come out of the zone uh, through any possession out of bounds play uh, uh, through the night. Must not be a Coach Knight, it's Coach a, Knight fan. The, uh, the, zo the zone has taken its place in girls basketball. You see a lot of it. Um, and many teams do it well. Coach Anderson talking to uh, to his players about being patient, looking for good ball movement. Um, Cassie Banks got a piece of that one on the back cut by Marks. Both teams are starting to feel a little bit of the fourth quarter, first basketball game of the year. Everybody's a little winded. Ooh, the tipped ball. South Central retains possession. Do you like the Adidas uniforms? I think they look look nice. Yep, yep. Unis are, unis are looking good tonight. Just straight black and red. There's no. Yep. Good ball movement by the satellites. Get a little jumper on the baseline. No good. O'Brien comes away with it. Comes forward. Brooke Davis gets it at the point. On the attack. Alexa O'Brien with it on the wing to Banks, attacks the middle of the floor, ball comes out, Marks gets it, on the run, left-handed finish, she's a left-hander, that's her best side. Moore. 
here's March with the steal at the top of the seat. We got a timeout coming here by yep. Coach Nees. March with the right-handed finish and the foul. That's where a little bit of that senior experience comes into play right there. She was looking to steal that pass at the top of the key. He will take one here. <laughs> it's going to be uh, Brooke Davis's fifth foul as well. Oh, maybe he didn't take one. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I believe there was a timeout call. We're going to take a timeout, too. We'll be right back. Looks like it's going to be a full timeout. 13 to 45. going to be South Central shooting the uh, <coughs> the free throw on a made basket here. So it's going to be Sadie, Sadie Marks, Marks the Marks. older of the two Marks girls playing tonight. Sadie's had a pretty good game. You can tell just by the way she moves that uh, she's played a lot of basketball. Good patience by South Central. They're looking to move the basketball. Not in a big hurry. 20, or excuse me, 32 point lead. Good trap by the Cavs on the baseline. You're going to get a held ball. Brianna Schlimler came in and got it. Cavs are going to get it on the alternating possession. 428 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Maya Williams with it at the elbow. Good turn and kick. Alexa O'Brien knocks down the three. That's a couple of those tonight. Going to be something the Cavs will need throughout the year. She's going to need somebody to be out there and knock down that shot. No, she, <clears throat> she fouled out. She's not happy about it, but shout out to Brooke Davis to Coming in your first varsity start uh, as a true true uh, freshman, which I guess they're all true freshmen in high school, but but uh, they are. But she was uh, she was expected and, and had to handle a lot of the ball handling responsibilities tonight. She handled that pressure very well. Uh, I think Coach Nice has got to be pretty happy with the performance he got. Um, you know, it's a, it's a different speed for her to, to go from eighth grade basketball to varsity basketball tonight. Mm -hmm. So to be in foul trouble is uh, a little bit understandable. Sure, she'll learn from it, but uh, great minutes from Brooke tonight. She's got to be happy with uh, what we got from her. <laughs> Here's another held ball. It's going to stay with South Central. We're going to get a sub. Coming in, it's going to be Giselle Villegas coming in. Brianna Schlimmer getting a break. South Central with it on the inbounds. Again, being very patient. Get a deep three look there from Lexi Johnson. Shot goes down. <laughs> Lexi is the lone junior on the satellite team tonight. Got a kicked ball by the Cavalier bench. Did not see. Uh, see this, is a, this is another one of those rule things. That's not a side out. That goes back to that spot. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Even though the ball rolled out yeah, went somewhere out, else. Yeah, went out on the baseline almost. South Central with it. Looking to move it around. Oops. Ball gets to the... Ooh. Ball was or given to the... Uh, the or passed to the free throw line. Got a held ball. Amaya Williams got a hand on it. So Cavaliers get it on the alternating possession. 2-10 left in the fourth. Kudos to the crowd tonight. Lots of people sticking around to see the entire game. 
Cavalier student section. Um, it's pretty large tonight. won't say they were real vocal, but it's a good turnout by the kids. Oh. <clears throat> 16 to 48. Hmm, sure score. I didn't, I didn't see anything there. Didn't that foul was on Hamilton um, after the pass was made. So we get a sub for the Cavs. We're going to get Eliana Andrew Jeske coming in. Her first action, another freshman. Um, played a nice game in the JV game tonight. She's going to get a minute or so here in varsity action. I think as the year goes on, we'll see a little more of Eliana. Great defensive player, not afraid to get get after it. Tough. Yep. See body and bodying up already, yep. trapping already. Yep, likes to get after it. Here's a trap, trap. in the corner. We're gonna Damn. get in a travel right coming call. out of it. Good call. Cavs ball, minute twenty-eight to go. And so, Jeske's going to handle the ball here, too. Good experience for the freshman. From where we're at, another thing with the new gym, the black bleachers and the black sidelines and baseline, which we've always had the black sideline baseline. Mm -hmm. But from where we're at, could not see the official at first. Oh, sure. Because yep. he, was, he was blending in yeah, with pants, uh, were blending pants in with the and shoes. part yeah, of the I shirt agree. was blending in with the black bleachers. Yeah. I took me for, like, where did that whistle come from? <laughs> Couldn't see him. Ooh, we got a reach on Andrew Jeske there. No, sorry, on Alexa yeah, no, O'Brien there. It's going to be her second foul. Neither team has reached the five foul limit yet, so fourth quarter is moving on. 59 and a little change left, under a minute. Maya's wingspan. Just yeah, here comes a Maya so Williams bigger. ball. Ball out in front, trying to keep control. Um, off the Cavalier, South Central ball, 43 seconds left. It was very hot in the school today. In the pretty, pretty, pretty warm. Now it's cooled down. It's almost cold. There's people with jackets on ah, in the stands. Yeah, yeah. Little uh, hitting. You know, welcome to Indiana weather. It was uh, 25 yesterday and almost 60 today. So snowed this week. Yeah. There's hey. uh, Eliana Andrew Jeske getting her first varsity basket. Um, doing a good job. Offensive rebound, cleaning up. 14 seconds left. South Central. Uh, interesting to see what they do here. We're going to get a good jump ball call. on the baseline. That's a good, yep, that that's a good call there. Five. That could have went either way. Yep. And Five seconds left. It's going to be South Central ball. Ah. Yeah. Andrew Jeske yep. wanted to get her first official varsity <laughs> foul as well. So we're going to get her in the books. Definitely, definitely yep. a foul. It's a uh, fourth team foul on the Cavs. will be out of bounds still for South Central. I like that Coach Anderson's. He still wants to score here. He's not. Yeah, he, he was not laying off there. I think maybe now they're going to hold him okay. down. So we're going to end to 48-20. Um, it's the debut for the Coach Nieces. Um, we had A.J. at the helm tonight. Kids played hard, defensively looking good. Um, you know, everybody's uh, – Everybody's question is, where do you find offense against a good 2-3 zone? And I'm sure that's what we're working on the rest of the week. So exciting to see the young kids playing, um, some of our veterans coming back. So girls basketball on the up and up. Well, that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen, for Josh Pugh, Tyler Sedell, and Justin Croy. Thank you for watching Culver TV. Uh, I believe our next game is next Tuesday. I believe we're back here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. So until then, thank you for watching Culver TV.